Hey guys, it's Ashley from Another True Views, and today I have a special treat. Um, I know some of you out there will be really excited. Um, so I'm going to do an unboxing of the Freedom Japanese Market subscription. This is a Japanese snack subscription. It ships directly from Japan, which is super exciting. But this is also going to be a tasting review. Because I know some of you get angry when I don't actually taste it and tell you guys what it's like. Um, so... This is going to be a tasting review. Now, I might not try every single thing just because I'm only one person with only one stomach and I don't want to, like, get diabetes. And this is their full-size box, so it's got a lot in here. So I did break down, like, their different subscriptions and options. I'll link down below with my affiliate link to them. I'll also link to my full blog review where you can see the pictures and photos and all that stuff. I took my photos prior, and in so doing, I destroyed the box. I uh, could not get everything back in because there's a lot of stuff in here. So, I'm all over the place. Oh my gosh. All right, so their Poochie box, which is a mini box, has five to eight items and costs $14.99. The original has 12 to 16 items and is $24.99. That's what I have right here. Then there's the family box, which essentially is the original box doubled so that you have things for both children if it's, you know, for your kids or whatever. And that's $45.99. That's monthly. Um, now, I might have a coupon code, and if I do, I'll put that down below if you're interested. So, okay, there is a paper here, and it tells you what this stuff is, but I thought it would be really fun if we did it blind and then went through kind of at the end and looked at what everything was and, you know. So the first thing here is Tejado Caramel Corn. Uh, I have had this. I have not had this flavor. I had, like, a red bag, which is caramel flavored, so I'm not sure if this is going to have a different flavor or if it's just a different bag. This, if I remember, looks like little shrimps. My son is also waiting. He saw this stuff. He's like... I don't know if this tastes different than the other stuff. It's like sweet. It's just a caramel corn, but it's like dry. Er, I guess. More like a corn puff. You know what I mean? So... Oliver's just waiting patiently downstairs to try some delicious snacks. He's like, he saw the box. He was like, oh, you're going to eat that without me? All right, so the next thing is this bag that has no writing on it. It looks like, so there's an onion, there's a lobster, there's a squid. So these are probably seafood flavored snacks. It looks like a fun bag though. Oh, these taste like... Onions. A little more of a oceanic flavor, but that's fine by me. If you're not into fish, clearly you probably or onions, you would definitely not like these. But these are really good. the The texture and the the you know the consistency is a lot like these, but one is sweet and one is savory, which is kind of cool. And I did have myself prepared with some hot tea. Palette cleanser, if you will. So here we have, it says crisp. I'm guessing these are those little yogurt, like a yogurt snack. And here they are. I don't know if I showed you the um, other uh, snacks that I ate. Oh, sorry if I didn't. This tastes very much like many cereals that I've had. Or maybe I've had these. They're really good. If you like like a creamy, sweet thing, these are delicious. Okay. I'm guessing they're strawberry flavor just because. So then we have what looks to be like a rice cake. Like a fried rice cake. Now, do, is it going to be sweet? I am not sure. So there it is. I forget what these are called. I've had like, a, I've, I've, uh, rusks maybe? Oh! This is soy flavor, like soy sauce. It's actually really good. Oh. No, you need to conserve stomach space, girl. I'll see you later. That is delicious. Probably my favorite thing so far. All right. Also important to note, each box comes with an origami. So this is in um, like children's month. It's supposed to be like, a, I think a katana. So you can pull that out. Isn't that cool? And every box, an original origami. So, I think that's a really neat touch. Okay, making space. There's this big bag. Now, these look like little Funyuns or something. There's not really any indicator as to what this flavor is. 
There are vegetables over here though. See these vegetables? I don't know. I've never had these before. This is also from Tejado, the same company that makes the caramel corn. We will find out. Oh, smells like onions. Oh, they're tomato e. It's like you're not eating anything. This is like a snack if you don't want a snack because it's like hard to, hardly anything there. But they're good. They're very addictive. It's like I want to eat more to get more of the flavor. They're super salty. Definitely an interesting, so far the most unique item. Apparently each of these also comes with a DIY candy kit. I don't see that yet though. We're going to find out. So here's a teriyaki. I think I've had these. Teriyaki flavor, see like it's like a cute little character on there. Oh no, I have not had this ever. What are you? What are you? It's like a long tube. Should I take the whole thing out? I kinda I know I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I want to show you guys. So this is long tube. Ah. Oh wow. That's crazy. It's not bad though. It kind of have a, has a syrupy flavor, like a waffle, but then it also has a salty flavor, like soy sauce. I don't know what to think of that, but it's really good. Oh my, that was different. Okay, I am not gonna eat these little candies because I think they're cute and I kind of want to share those with the kids. So I'm going to save that and also it's a, like a hard candy that I can't really eat here anyway because it would take so long. So this looks like another tube and I'm not also not going to try this. This is the same thing but this is a pizza flavored <laughs> I think because there's a pizza on it. This one had a hamburger which did not taste. This was like so crazy. So I'm going to try this after the video like later when I have room in my tummy. I can already feel like I'm getting full. All right. Here we have something. This looks like it's going to be sweet because it looks like a cake on there. It feels like a tube though, like the other ones. So we're going to find out. Yeah, this is definitely a tube. What are these tubes? They're so strange, strange and crazy, strangey. Okay. Oh no. This is cheese. It's like a giant, <laughs> this is like a giant cheese, <laughs> cheese curl, cheese puff or whatever. I should have like napkins. In fact, I'm even gonna buy it. Oh, get napkin. So you guys are like propped up on, you know, those paper towel holders. I have like the most ghetto setup. So I have a selfie stick and a paper towel holder. And so there's like paper towels there and I have one right now. <laughs> All right. I don't want to open this because I want my son to see it. It's like a little bear. These are little candies. Um, not a whole lot of crazy going on in there. Pretty self-explanatory. So this next thing is a Caplico mini. Some, it looks like an ice cream, almost, I don't know, like a strawberry ice cream thing. We're going to open it up and we're going to find out. It really is an ice cream. Oh my gosh. I'm going to eat it. Oh, this is like soft. Like a creamy. Ooh. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This is so good. It's like a wafer. And then this is like a creamy something inside. Oh my. This is probably the candy kit. It's got like a toothpick and then little pieces of candy. Um, But I'm not going to open this right now. Because it looks like it's going to, I'm going to open it and pop, things are going to pop all over the place. And it kind of makes me nervous. So look to the review if you want to see that in action. All right, I'm almost done here. Only got two more items, and then we can look at the paper, and I'll tell you guys what's going on. So this is um, a canned grape. Oh, it looks like a Twizzler. So there's the package. Ooh, they look really good. Ooh, tastes like purple bubble gum. 
the great bubblegum. I love that stuff. Mmm. And then this thing looks crazy. I don't know what this is. It's ume paper. So, because I eat sushi, I know that ume. Sorry. Um, there's a kind of sushi which is like ume. Um, I forget. It's Japanese plums though. It's like one of my favorites. That's how I know. So I'm guessing this is plum paper, which is kind of crazy. Although I could be wrong because these, I don't know that these look like plums, but I've been wrong before. So we're about to find out. But I know that I love uh, the plum, the Japanese plums. They are incredibly delicious and I love them. So, okay. All right, I'm not gonna eat. Am I gonna eat the whole thing right here? So this is kind of what it looks like. It's like a long strip of paper. It's like, this is definitely plums. This is like a mildly tart, but also kind of sweet and, ooh, ooh. Ooh, maybe that's even a pickled flavor. Mmm, well oh, that's good. This is definitely not something that everybody would like. It's not like a very sweet or a very savory. It's somewhere in that. In between then, you have to like kind of really like it already. Or you're gonna be like, no, definitely fun to try. All right, let's look at the paper together. So these were not all, if you had subscribed to the Poochie box, you would have gotten the Ume paper. Pickled plum, see I'm right girls, in a paper thin form, sweet and sour. Mixed fruit mochi, so those little candies that I didn't open, those are mochi, mini apple and pineapple flavored pieces of sweet mochi or rice cakes. You would have also gotten the premium Umai Bo, which is the ice cream, Cone, mozzarella, and, oh no, no, not the, this one, the big roll that was cheese flavored. So it's mozzarella and camembert, camembert, cheese flavored puffed corn. So that's what that was, camembert. <laughs> they got really, they got really involved in that one. Okay, so the, um, the pink stars, these are called shimmy cho choco corn, cute star shaped crispy corn puffs coated in strawberry chocolate. Uh, then we have the UFO Ramoon, which are the two little candies that I didn't open either. Ramoon flavored hard candy in fa four flavors, yogurt, peach, apple, etc. If I didn't say that right, somebody will correct me. I know you always do. <laughs> you can feel free. I don't, I'm not offended. So those little like tiny circles, these are called Nagawa. Nagawa, I'm sorry. If I'm butchering these, I really apologize. These are beef consom flavored ring shaped potato crisps. They're fun to play with and eat, it says. So that would be in your poot, the small mini box. So everything that else was in the original, like the teriyaki flavored, that big puff, teriyaki burger flavored tube of popcorn. Then we also have the ice cream, which is a Capco mini, strawberry flavored aerated chocolate. That's what that's called, aerated chocolate, like that Kinder bar, like from Germany, shaped like a mini ice cream cone. Then there's the pizza flavor, which we didn't open. Um, the umakai, those are crazy. These are the crazy tasting. These are really good. I really, these might be my favorite thing. I'm not even sure. Ramen chips flavored like champagne, a Nagasaki noodle dish made of seafood and veggies. So there's that. Then we have that big rice cracker, the kabuki cracker. These delicious rice crackers are stamped with famous kabuki emblems. I didn't even know that and I just broke it all up. Jerk. Uh, the little bear container that I said I was going to wait to open. It's an unchako mini grape flavored chocolate balls and cute animal packaging. Oh, it's so cute. So then there's also the ta, the Tejado caramel corn, which is the big bag. I said I had already had that, but a different bag. So this is a seasonal exclusive um, sweet rare cheesecake flavor curls of puff corn. So that was interesting. I didn't know it was cheesecake flavor, but I can't remember really the first one, to the flavor of it, you know, so. And then the purple like grape flavored uh, Twizzler type things, those were a bonus. Those are chewing straw candy, straw shaped grape flavored gummy candy. So this box is so much fun. I hope you guys had fun doing this video. I think that this is how I'm going to do snack boxes from now on. If you like it this way, thumbs up, let me know down below, whatever. Um, 
I, I really, I think that this is better because then you guys get to see everything and everybody in my blog still gets to see everything and it's just a, a nicer way to do it even though it kind of ruins the surprise. But with a box like this, or it really just seeing the stuff isn't really much of a, I don't really know what's, I still don't know, you know. Uh, it's a lot of fun though, these boxes. If you're interested, subscribe below with my affiliate link. Um, check out the review. I'm so also so close to a thousand subscribers so very close thank you guys if you love me share the videos with your friends maybe they'll like them too i mean i'm trying to get to that big number four digits would be great but anyway if not no big deal no pressure none at all i love you guys thank you so 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 much for watching i'll see you next time bye